Ah, greetings and salutations. Here, yeah, it's wonderful to see you all. Yes, even you. Watcher, welcome and welcome to the Cracker Island listening party happening live right now in my Silver Lake mansion in Los Angeles. Here, have a gander at that. It's nice, isn't it? Eh? I've just had the windows clean. I, I can, I can, I can actually uh, see through them now. Anyway. Right, if you want, you know, you can take a virtual tour on gorillas.com if you sort of fancy having a little snoop around, you know. Well, ah, what a treat you have in store. Oh, yes, you do. Right here, right now, I, yes, I... Murdoch Nichols, founder and inspirational leader of Gorillas, am about to take you on a journey, a sojourn through sound itself to a place beyond the limits of your mind. Yeah, so we won't be going far, will we? <laughs> no, no, only joking. All the way to Cracker Island. Uh, that's the new Gorillaz album, obviously. No. If, you, if you didn't know that, you're probably watching the wrong stream. Anyway, um, I am going to play it for you. One track at a time. That makes sense, doesn't it? Eh? Then, then, afterwards, we'll, uh, you know, we'll have a little Q&A. You know, so, uh, your chance to ask me anything you want. Anything, you know. I'm an open book. Well, well, no, no, uh, except for chapters 7 and 23, of course, you know, detailing that when... when uh, any, anyway, anyway, um, now, now, ah, it's time to lend me your ears and strap in for a roller coaster ride to the far side of the Gorillaverse. And back again before bedtime. Ah, yes. So, right. Let us begin at the beginning. Now, even though the uh, the video for this track, uh, it actually uh, it took place at the end, but, uh, you know, well, that's time for you, you know, bit of a slippery customer time, isn't it? OK, OK, introducing the first and the title track. Guess what it's called? Go on, have a guess. Yes! Cracker Island, featuring Thundercat. Oh! Wow, what a bloke. And what an honour for him, obviously, to have collaborated with me. Yeah. Chance of a lifetime for the guy, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, OK. He can bang out a decent bass riff, yes. All right, all right. He's got a solid falsetto, yes. Yes, 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 OK. He brought some nice vibes and tasty licks to the track, etc., etc. But, you know, let's not get carried away. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. Hit it, DJ. I.e. press play, 2D. Ah, yes, Cracker Island. Right, right, we got some to get through, you know. Right, next up. Oh, yes. The beautiful oil. Featuring the one and only Stevie Nicks. Now, you know, there's someone who knows how to wear a hat. Actually, uh, that reminds me, I, uh, I must get the number of her milliner. Uh, let me tell you, collaborating with Stevie was pure cosmic alchemy. It's like two universes colliding, like creation itself. A new Big Bang! We're uh, kindred spirits, you know, uh, me and Stevie. Plus, you know, I, I heard she's got a thing for uh, dark magic and sorcery, which, of course, you know, as you know, is right up my street. I reckon she's possibly too busy with her own cult of fans, but who knows? Maybe we could join forces, create a sort of a, a cult supergroup. With me as the supreme overlord, of course. Um, I'm sure she'd agree to that. Right, Stevie? 
Ah, uh, what about, what about that, eh? Hey, did you hear that, did you? Psychic silence. Interlocking cluster bombs. Eh? Where else can you hear that, eh? Just enjoy it, just enjoy it. The wonderful Stevie Nicks there, eh, providing harmonies. Here, how about them apples, eh? Yeah. OK, on to the next track. Right, the next track is called The Tired Influencer. Yeah? Right? I mean, I know what that feels like. I've been an influencer my whole life. Even as an infant, as a little boy. Yeah, Murdoch was a little boy. Yeah, all the other kids, they just try and copy my style all the time. You know, like the black leather onesie. Yeah, and the, the mohawk and the custom space hopper. Bloody exhausting being so influential, you know. Oh, it's made me a bit, oh, a wee bit tired, you know, so, um, yeah, take it away. Oh, what, 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 are you, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, God, yeah. Oh, I, must have, I must have nodded off for a second. Uh, you, know, you know that, uh, that, that song, that song you just heard? Well, you know, I think that, uh, that may be autobiographical, you know, I don't think so. But hear the words there, you know, the tired influencer, gotta press on. You know what I mean? Is that no? okay? Right, no, the next one is a real cracker. Now, we uh, we um, got in the studio with with Addy, yeah, yeah, and I tell you, what a talent, you know, and I tell you, I know talent when I see it. Every time I look in the mirror, for example, <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, just just thinking, any of you listeners uh, out there wearing uh, heels or ski boots or clogs or other potentially high decibel footwear, remove them now, because it's time for silent running. Oh, yeah, by the way, we, uh, we got the uh, window cleaner from across the road to whistle at the beginning of that track, and again at two minutes, and again... At three minutes. And you know what? I think you'll agree. There's, there's, there's a clear sort of purity uh, to, to dear old Gordon's whistling, don't you think? He's all right, but mm, I, uh, I wouldn't take a vacation with him, though. Mm, no. Right. <clears throat> so, they said to me, No, Murdoch! You're a hopeless fantasist. It'll never work. But I ignored the uh, naysayers as per and uh, did it anyway. And behold, another banger. Tame in parlour and Booty Brown on the same track. Eh? The hypnotic New Gold. Booty's actually an old mate of ours, as you may remember. Yeah, we worked with him uh, oh, way back on Dirty Harry, yeah, years ago. Another lost soul in the desert, until I found him and led him back to the light. <laughs> tame in parlour's vocals, eh? Yeah, uh, anything but tame. No, uh, Booty's verses? <gasps> scorching, scorching, yeah. And the trippy soundscape we threw in, well, it's like a wormhole to another universe. A funky, psychedelic ghost train. Of course, uh, I'll, uh, I'll take most of the credit, but, uh, well, you know, these lads definitely played their part. Mm. So, yeah, delicate percussion and words of sincerity. Here, listen to them. Ow, oh, dear old Kev Parker. Ha, <laughs> I, uh, I rather like uh, being draped in gold. Mmm, lovely. OK, moving on. Track number six. Um, right, up next, yes, that's it. It's uh, Baby Queen. A fever dream of a track. 
Oh, yeah, literally. I mean, it was inspired by one of 2D's strange little night visions. He's taken a lot of a lot of knocks to the head over the years, but you know that scrambled noggin does dream up some terrific tunes. I, I, I'll give him that. You know, there's a real eloquent and slightly distant spaciousness to that track, a, a, a melodic and dreamlike presence. Or you know, put it another way. And half bloody good, isn't it? That one. Yeah, baby queen. Right, <clears throat> what's next? Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course. How could I forget? Tarantula! <laughs> um, 2D claims the inspiration was for this song, right? That he met a tarantula that looked like George Michael. Total rubbish, mate! Huh? It was inspired by a dream I had. I was I was being chased by giant spiders. None of whom looked like George Michael, by the way. And, and then I, I woke up screaming. And gradually my scream of terror morphed and mellowed into a brilliant riff. Behold, the track was born. Yeah, yeah, we say um, time's run out, but uh, yeah, well, in truth, you know, it never really existed in the first place. Think about it, yeah. Okay, moving on. Ah, oh, next track, yeah. Tormenta. Lovely, one hell of a ride, this track. We were, uh, we were in Jamaica when we recorded this, right in the middle of a bomb cyclone. The wind was howling, the rain was lashing down, palm trees were sort of bending like they were made of salami. It was, it was, as, if, it was as if the universe was sort of, you know, trying to tell us something. And there we were, in the middle of it, forging something beautiful out of the chaos. I was the Almighty, conducting a symphony out of nature, and Tormentor was my magnum Opus. I gotta say, you know, collaborating with Bad Bunny was incredible. I mean, let me tell you, that boy's got some real talent, and I don't say that lightly, mind you. I mean, well, he's he's no Murdoch Nichols, obviously, but yeah. The penultimate track. And it's also the one before the last track as well. It's the same, same thing, yeah, penultimate. Hey, uh, time, time, a bit slow in the cheap seats. Time, time flies when you're having fun. So this track, right, track nine, what's it called, Murder? All right, all right, all right, keep your hair on, keep your hair on. It's called Skinny Ape. And I tell you what, we were far from skinny when we debuted this. We were absolutely colossal, in fact. You know, I, I had a right laugh rampaging through New York and London King Kong size. Yeah! Oh, you should have seen us. Great fun. Um, apologies if I, yeah, I sort of stepped on anyone. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this track was another one of 2D's ideas. I mean, he's had a... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, he has a lot of ideas. Yeah, he does. He does. And occasionally, he has good ones. Well, you know, even a stop clock tells the right time twice a day. Not that 2D can read a clock, but oh, still. The vagaries of existence as an ape, wearing the forlorn rags of growing old. Don't be sad for me. Ah, uplifting. Wonderful. And now, yeah, we arrive at the final stop, the emotional endpoint of the record. Brace yourselves for the last to play is Possession Island, featuring the legendary Beck, who, uh, together with uh, moi, takes a deep dive into the human soul. Think of this track as, you know, like a trip through the Hollywood Hills with, you know, with its golden sunsets and sunrises, but, there's more beneath the surface. The impermanence of life, 
the emptiness of fame, the struggle to find meaning in a hollow world. Well, of course, I can, uh, I can relate to all that. Uh, my vast fame and fortune is the cross I must bear for you lot. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, you're welcome, by the way. OK. We're all in this together till the end. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Oh, beautiful. It finishes and then behold the silence that follows. That's it, right there. Silence, existence, silence. Twas ever thus. Well, together. We have ventured forth into brave new realms of sound and now we return to the land called normality once again. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, don't think I uh, haven't noticed everyone out there dancing to Tormentor, our track with Bad Bunny. I, 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 I suppose, lim uh, you know, imitation, yeah? I mean, it's the highest form of flattery, isn't it? Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see... You can't coach that kind of thing, look. You know what I mean? Is that born, born to dance, I uh, think you'll agree? Yeah. Uh, wait for it. It's not over yet. It's time to uh, open up the floor to your questions. It's question time. Questions. And then, what do you get after that? Answer. Yeah. If you're lucky. No, you will. You will. But remember, keep it clean, yeah? So let's get into uh, get into it. Right, the first question. What we got here? Right. Uh, oh yeah, first question is uh, at uh, Taniel. Right. Thank you for the question. Uh, Murdoch, what's your skincare routine? Ooh, now you see that would be telling, wouldn't it, Taniel? Yeah. It's very complicated, long and drawn out, uh, basically. I just slap a load of green paint on. No, that's not true. I'm naturally green. I was born like this, obviously. Got a problem with that? Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Uh, the second question is, um, at Sleepless, thank you very much, um, how do you get initiated into the forever cult? Oh, yeah, a bit late for that, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, well, uh, all nine members of the uh, Forever Cult have uh, very sadly uh, crumbled to little piles of ash. <laughs> Rest in pieces, my friends. And uh, question number three, just coming up here, is uh, at your local hamster, thank you. Uh, Do you regret anything that you've done in the past, says the question. Um, not really. I always try to look forward. Not back. That way, you do whatever you want without ever having to regret a thing. Makes sense, doesn't it? And, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, at Patricia uh, Benitez, I think. Uh, yes, Benitez, yeah. Patricia Benitez. Uh, do you have any hidden talent that you're proud of? If you do, which one? If I told you, it wouldn't be hidden, would it? Also, to be honest, I mean, look. Come on, I don't hide my talents. I flaunt them. Get them out. You know, that's what I say. I say, get them all out. You know what I mean? I mean, all your talents. I don't mean what anything else, you know. And <laughs> share them. Share all your talents with the world for the good of humanity, right? Have you got the message? Good. Uh, at, uh, at Rick, I think Rick. Uh, Koi, I think Rikoi, actually, I think that is, at Rikoi. I really apologise if I've mispronunciated your name. Um, anyway, great question, great question, this one. Want to buy your bath water? Where do I find it? Join the queue, Rikoi. Sadly, yeah, those uh, health and safety pen pushers claim that it's lethally toxic. So the short answer is you can't find it anywhere. You could always, well, you know, I suppose you could always, like, you know, run your own bath, dump in some cheese and herbs and sort of make your own, really. Yeah, just an idea. Don't have to do it. You probably will, won't you? Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is at Noodle. Oh, really? Oh. Why is Murdoch green? Like, was he green since birth? Oh, um, yeah, hi. 
Noodle, obviously, is you. <laughs> Actually, uh, I was born grey. Yeah, totally grey. It sort of became greener as the years went by, you know, something to do with the atmospheric conditions and the fluctuations thereof, I don't know. But now I'm just a sort of lovely shade of chatrousse. That's right, isn't it? Chatrousse. Which, incidentally, goes wonderfully with my uh, pink colt robes. Uh, Noodle did some uh, swatches before designing them to sort of make it match, you know. Right. OK, well, I can't believe it, but we've actually run out of tiddly time. Forever moving on, is it? You can't stop the thing, can you? So that's a wrap, my lambs. And it wouldn't be right to, uh, you know, not just take a little moment to thank you. Yes, you! The fans, for your unwavering support for us and our new album. Ah, you know, you really are the most loyal followers a great leader could ask for. And, and, thank you to the talented and eclectic array of artists who feature on Cracker Island. And even what would this album be without you? It wouldn't be as good, would it? It wouldn't. So, once again, thanks for listening, everyone. Oh, it's been emotional. For you, I mean. I got through it with my usual trademark stoicism. But even though it's time to bid a fond bon nuit to Cracker Island, fear not, because after this listening party's over, Cracker Island will remain a part of you forever. For in the words of gorillas, we're all in this together till the end. Till the end. Cheers.